minus 10, 9. So chances are you've heard of NASA, but have you heard of ISRO? That's India's space agency, which recently burst onto the scene by sending an orbiter to Mars. It's a major engineering feat that puts India into an exclusive club. It's now one of five space agencies, including the U.S., to send a mission to research the red planet. What might be more impressive, though, is that India made this high-tech achievement at a relatively low cost. How low? About $74 million. And that puts India at $43 million below Russia, which didn't even work. So how did India do it? And is it a fair comparison? According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the mean annual income of an aeronautical engineer in the U.S. is just under $104,000. In a country where the average per capita income is around $1,400, India's engineers in the program are reportedly making significantly less. And the spacecraft itself? Well, it's an orbiter, meaning it won't land, so it's less complex. India made a Mars orbiter that costs less than it took to make the movie Gravity. Sounds like a big deal, and it is. History has been created today. But India's mission is more of a proof of concept, showing that they can get there and that they're leaders in low-cost innovation. So is there a new space race, and does it include India? It's not clear yet. India's triumph reminds the world that space isn't just for the wealthy industrial countries to explore. And for science, that's a good thing.